Hello students, today we will learn about more on GIMP. Layers are the transparent sheets that can hold objects and are stacked on top of each other. When we have number of objects, it is always better to distribute the objects in different layers as it makes the work process much easier. We can draw and edit objects on one layer without affecting the objects on another layer. We can add a number of layers, make them visible or invisible, change their position and even customize them as per the requirement. Before moving forward, let us first learn how to create a new layer. To create a new layer, follow the given steps. Click on the layer menu. Select the new layer option. The new layer dialog box appears. Specify the layer name, width and height of the layer. Whatever you draw now will be associated with this layer only. Click on the OK button. Students, let us take a quick view. Press Ctrl plus L to enable the Layers tab. Students note that the Layers tab displays a small thumbnail view of an image. When you add a layer, it will be added above the previous layer. You can work on any layer by selecting it from the Layers tab in the right panel. Let me tell you about renaming a layer. Select the layer from the Layers tab and right click on it. Select Edit Layer Attributes option from the Context menu. The Layer Attributes dialog box appears. Type a suitable name in the Layer Name text box and click on the OK button. Let me tell you how to make a duplicate layer. The duplicate layer command adds a new layer to the image which is an identical copy of the active layer. To create a duplicate layer, in the Layers tab, right click on the layer that you want to duplicate. A shortcut menu will appear. Select the Duplicate Layer option. Observe an identical layer gets added in the Layers tab. Students, let us take a quick view. By pressing Shift plus Ctrl plus T key combination creates duplicate copy of the selected layer. Let us learn about making layers visible or invisible. You can make the layer visible or invisible hidden by clicking on the eye icon present at the leftmost side of the layer name under the Layers tab. Once the layer is hidden, no tool can be applied to it. Let us talk about merging layers. Merging layers means to combine two layers into a single layer. Let us merge the two different images by following the given steps. Open two different images by using File then go to Open option. Observe that these images will appear as thumbnails below the menu bar. Select the thumbnail of first image and copy it by using Edit and then go to Copy option. Now select the thumbnail of the second image and paste first image in it by using Edit then go to Paste option. Observe that a new layer gets added in the Layers tab with the name Floating Selection Pasted Layer. Right click on it and select the option to new layer. Adjust the position of the images with the help of move tool. Finally select the merge down option from the layer menu. Both the layers get merged into one. Alright, let me tell you how to delete a layer. To delete a layer from the layers tab, follow these steps. Select the layer to be deleted. Click on the Layer menu and select the Delete Layer option. The selected layer gets deleted. Students know that you can also delete a layer from Delete This Layer button located on the Layers tab. Let us discuss about Paint Tools. GIMP provides us many tools for quick and easy image transformation and help us to make them look attractive. Paint Brush Tool the Paint Brush tool is used to create smooth strokes of the foreground color in your image. It can also be used to paint on images, selections or layers. Follow these steps to use Paint Brush tool. Open any image. Select the Paint Brush tool from the toolbox. Choose the desired brush type and size from the Tool Options pane. Double click on the foreground color box in the toolbox. 
the change foreground color dialog box appears. Select the desired color. Drag the pointer over the image to apply brush strokes. Students let us know more. Normally, tool options are displayed in a window attached under the toolbox as you activate a tool. If the tool options are not displayed, select Windows and then go to Dockable Dialogs and then go to Tools option from the menu bar. Alright students, know that by default foreground color is black and background color is white. The foreground or background color box is available in the toolbox. Clicking in either one of these opens a color selector dialog that allows you to change to a different color. The black and white squares at the left end of the box reset colors. The small curvy line with two arrowheads causes the foreground and background colors to be swapped. Color Picker Tool It is used to select a color of the pixel on the image. This tool replaces the existing color of an image with the color selected in the foreground color box. Select the Color Picker Tool Click on any part of the image to choose the color. Observe that the selected color will be displayed in the foreground color box. Select the Paint Brush tool and drag the pointer on the image to paint strokes. OK students know that by pressing the Shift key along with the Color Picker tool, the Color Picker information window gets open. Ink tool the ink tool uses a simulation of an ink pen with a controllable nib to paint solid brush strokes. The size, shape and angle of the nib can be set to determine how the strokes will be applied. Open any image and select the ink tool from the toolbox. The mouse pointer changes to pen nib. In the tool options pane, select the appropriate size, shape and angle of the nib. Click on the foreground color box. Select the desired color from the change foreground color dialog box. Click on the OK button. The foreground box color changes to the selected color. Drag the mouse pointer over the image to apply the brush strokes over it. Students let us know about pencil tool. This tool is used to draw freehand drawing with hard edges. The shortcut key to select pencil tool is N. Students know that by pressing the control key will change the nib to color picker. Clone tool. The clone tool allows you to repair problems areas in digital photos by painting over them with what you have copied from other areas. In simple words, this tool creates a duplicate copy of one part of an image over another part of the same image. To use this tool, follow these steps. Open the image and select the Clone tool. Set the brush size and style from the Tool Options pane. Hold down the Control key and click on the image to be cloned to define a source point. Release the Control key and drag the mouse pointer to that place where the clone is to be created. Healing tool the healing tool is quite similar to the clone tool, but it is more effective in fixing the image imperfections like wrinkles, blemishes, dark spots, marks of scars, etc. It takes a sample of the normal area of the image and replaces the defective area with the selected source area. Open the image to be edited and select the healing tool from the toolbox. Choose the appropriate size and shape of the brush from the tool options pane. Take the pointer to the normal area which is free from imperfections. Press the control key and click to take the sample from the source point. Release the control key and drag the tool over the defective area of the image to fix the imperfections. Dodge or Burn tool This tool is used to lighten or darken the colors in the image. The dodge effect lightens the colors and creates a soft tone in the selected image, whereas the burn effect darkens the color. It lets you improve the clarity of an image by sharpening the outlines of an image more prominently. Follow the below given steps to use this tool. Open any image and select Dodge Burn tool from the toolbox. Select the brush size and style from the tool options pane. 
Move the Dodge or Burn tool over the area that you wish to blur by holding down the left mouse button. Ok students, let us share some important tips. You can toggle between the Dodge or Burn effects with the help of Control key. The Burn tool will remain active until the Control key is released. The shortcut key to select Dodge tool is Shift plus D. Smudge tool as the name implies, this tool allows you to smudge the color of the image. It takes the current color and mixes it with the next color it meets. To use this tool, follow these steps. Open any image and click on the Smudge tool from the toolbox. Select the appropriate brush type and size. Drag the tool over the area of the image you want to smudge. Ok students, let us share an important tip. The shift key places the smudge tool into straight line mode. Let us talk about transform tools. Scale image. This command enlarges or reduces the physical size of the image by changing the number of pixels it contains. It changes the size of the contents of the image and resizes the canvas accordingly. To scale an image, follow the given steps. Open any image. Choose the Scale tool from the toolbox. Click on the image. The Scale dialog box appears. This box enables you to change the width and height of an image. A grid is superimposed on the image. The grid displays handles on each corner and on each side of the image. Specify the values for width and height of the image in the Scale dialog box. Click on the scale button. The image gets resized. Students, let us take a quick view. The shortcut key to open scale tool is Shift plus T. Students, let us know more. Cutting unwanted background to bring out the required area of the image is called cropping an image. Flip tool. The flip tool provides the ability to flip the layers or selections either horizontally or vertically. This tool can be used to create reflections or mirror images. To use this tool, open any image and click on the flip tool present on the toolbox. Now click on the image. The image gets flipped horizontally. Students note the fact, you can also select Shift plus F keys to activate the flip tool. Ok students, note that when a selection is flipped, a new layer with a floating selection is created. Control key allows you to change the mode between horizontal and vertical flipping. Zoom tool This tool is used to either enlarge the image size or shrink its size while editing the image. To use this tool, follow the given steps. Select the zoom tool from the toolbox. You will find the magnifying glass with plus sign on the screen. Click on the image and observe that the image size is increased. To reduce the size of the image, press the control key and click on the image. The mouse pointer will change into a minus sign along with the magnifying glass. Rotate tool The rotate tool allows you to rotate the active layer, a selection or a path. You can set the rotation axis and angle. To use this tool, open any image and select the rotate tool from the toolbox. Click on the image. The rotate dialog box appears. Set the rotation angle and the coordinates x, y for the rotation axis. Click on the rotate button and observe the change. Students know that by holding Ctrl key, will constrain the rotation angle to 15 degrees increments. Let us discuss about GIMP additional tools. Screenshot GIMP allows the users to capture the screenshot of the image or the entire window. To capture the screenshot, open any image. Click on File, then go to Create and then go to Screenshot. The screenshot dialog box appears. You can either select the take a screenshot of a single window or take a screenshot of the entire screen option button. The delay feature allows you to issue the command to take a screenshot after an interval that you specify. Click on the snap button. 
The screenshot of the image appears on the screen. Students know the fact by default GIMP does not contain any image. You can either create a new image or open a saved image. Filters Filters help you to apply special effects to an image or the selected part of it. GIMB offers 15 types of artistic ways to apply an image that may enhance its meaning. Number 1. Blur Number 2. Noise Number 3. Enhance Number 4. Artistic Number 5. Web Number 6. Edge Detect Number 7. Decor Number 8. Animation Number 9. Distorts Number 10. Generic Number 11. Map Number 13. Light and Shadow Number 14. Combine Number 15. Render Let us apply a decor filter to our image. To do so, follow the given steps. Open the image. Click on the filter menu and choose the decor filter. Select the fuzzy border option. A scrippy full fuzzy border dialog box opens. Now do changes as per your requirement. Click on the OK button to see the effect. Similarly, other filters can be applied on the image. Let us learn about color tools. Colors tab is present in the menu bar of the GIMB window. It contains a full range of image refinement commands such as color balance, brightness, hue saturation, etc. Let us try each one of them. Color balance. This option adjusts the color distribution in the image. To apply this effect, select the colors or color balance. The color balance dialog box appears. You can increase or decrease the cyan, magenta and yellow color slider buttons as needed and observe the change in the selected image. Brightness and Contrast To change the brightness or contrast of the image, select the colors and go to Brightness Contrast option. The Brightness Contrast dialog box appears. You can change the settings either by increasing or decreasing the slider buttons in the dialog box. You can observe the change in the image while changing the position of the slider buttons for the brightness and contrast options. Ok, students know that to undo any effect on image at any point of time, select Ctrl plus Z. Color Curves Once you have selected the colors of your image, you can also modify its color curves. With the help of Color Curves option, you can easily adjust the sharpness of the selected color. To change the color curve, select the colors then go to Curves option from the menu bar. The Curves dialog box appears. You will notice a diagonal straight line on the X and Y coordinate. Move the mouse on the curve line. The mouse pointer will change into a plus sign. Click and drag the curve either in downward or upward direction. Observe when the curve is bent towards down, the color of the image will change into its darker shade. And when the curve is bent towards up, the color of an image becomes lighter. Ok students, let us take a recap of this chapter. Layers are the transparent sheets that can hold objects and are stacked on top of each other. The duplicate layer command adds a new layer to the image which is an identical copy of the active layer. Merging layers means to combine two layers into a single layer. The paintbrush tool is used to create smooth strokes of the foreground color in your image. The clone tool allows you to repair problems areas in digital photos by painting over them with what you have copied from other areas. The flip tool provides the ability to flip the layers or selections either horizontally or vertically. The rotate tool allows you to rotate the active layer, a selection or a path. Colors tab is present in the menu bar of the GIMP window. It contains a full range of image refinement commands such as color balance, brightness, hue saturation, etc.